Hello my YouTube family. This is Anthony here with a quick uh, DIY made out of some items I purchased at the Dollar Tree. In my last haul I had sh uh, shared that I would be doing a DIY with the uh, yard stakes, the Easter Bunny yard stakes. Because when I thought, when I looked at them, it made me think of um, like a jewelry organizer. These are the little spaces on there. So what I did was I decided to make my girls a jewelry holder. They have one small, real small versions. I think they did come from Dollar Tree as well. One with a butterfly. can't remember what the other one was. They either came from Dollar Tree or Family Dollar, but they were little jewelry organizers. And they had the little, the base of it was a small, you know, rectangular tray. So I thought of taking the bunny yard stakes and cut the little points off and then glue it to the clear um, trays that you can get in the catering section at, at Dollar Tree. So I added a little hair bowl to them. And it's not even glued on, it's just clipped on there. And actually you can use the ears to store extra uh, barrettes, clips. The, the whiskers of the bunny, you can use it to hold necklaces or bracelets. I have a bracelet hanging there. And then what I did is just hung some earrings um, into the the different little slots there. I just threw a few up. They have tons of jewelry. I need to go through it and get it all put up. So I glued the the base, the bottom of the bunny onto the tray. I used hot glue to adhere it um, immediately. And then I used some E6000 so that way it would be more uh, sturdy and that it would stay on there because I think that the glue stick, the hot glue will just end up popping off of there. So I secured it uh, with the E6000 as well. Then here I've secured this little, um, it's a votive candle, empty candle holder. I always clean out my glass candles to reuse. So I put a little lavender bow on this one and that way I could hold little other little pieces of jewelry, rings, what have you. Here, this is also from Dollar Tree. Look, the little Easter trinket box. I had this one, got this one last year. Um, and I did glue the base of the bottom of it to the tray. And there's a little ring in there. But you can store whatever you'd like in there. I added some purple tulips to this for added decoration. I'm going to spin it around and show you the back. And what I did is just that or I added some purple flowers there. There's more space in the back of the tray here to um, add more items. Like I say, you can you can put a lot on here. You can hang necklaces from the ears or put more uh, bowls. So I made the pink one for one of my daughters and then I also made I mean this lavender, I'm sorry, the lavender and purple for one of my daughters and then here I made the pink with the hot pink bowl. And I did the same thing using a clear votal candle holder with the pink bowl. And then in the base of it, you know, you can just, you can set some jewelry pieces there in the trinket box and then on the back of this one I added the pink the pink roses so that is what I did, did with the little um, yardsticks so I'm pretty sure there will be a lot of videos out there with different ideas for those uh, yardsticks. But that's what I thought of. 
um, and then while I'm right here, I've showed uh, my candy jars I've done in the past with just little bobbleheads and things. And this is one I just had put together for St. Patty's Day. I actually, I made this one last year, and it has the little bobblehead leprechaun, and I just glued it to one of the Dollar Tree plastic containers with candy in it. So all it is is one of these glued to the top. So that is my first Easter. And this doesn't have to be for Easter. The bunnies are cute. You can use them all year round in a little trinket box. You can sit out all year round. But if they just want to switch things out on their dresser for the seasons, they can bring this out and display jewelry. So that is what I wanted to share with you today. Everyone have a blessed Saturday and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.